Welcome to the Blueprint Solutions video tutorial series. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to utilize third-party billing in the new 2.2 system. Begin by opening a patient's file. To bill to a third party, you'll want to ensure that the client has information stored within the patient insurer tab. In this example, we'll bill an insurance company for a hearing evaluation. So to sell a service to a patient, just use the quick sale button on the left side of the screen and then double click on any of the services provided from within your service catalog. We'll choose the diagnostic auto eval and the tinnitus assessment. Other items can be added to the invoice as well simply by double clicking on them. Click next at the bottom of the screen and then from the cost allocation tab, just make sure that you have the correct data service selected and a provider specified. Under the cost allocation section, you can allocate any dollar amount to the insurer. If the client has, let's say, a $20 copay, we can allocate the remaining amount of the sale to Blue Cross Blue Shield. So I will put $200 within the covered amount area, and then I will click out of the field or click enter on my keyboard to save that change. Now I will see the patient is responsible for $20, while the insurance company is responsible for $200. When you choose complete sale, two invoices will be created one for the insurer and one for the client. You can receive payment against a patient's invoice by clicking the Receive and Apply Payment button at the bottom of the screen. Within the Receive Payment box, I'll make sure I put in the correct date of the payment. I could even make a denotation so everyone knows that this was a copay that was taken. I'll put in the amount that was received and I'll choose the payment method and then click Save. The invoice for the patient will automatically turn into a sales receipt showing what the client paid and how much they have left owing. I can close out of the invoice when complete. In the Client Sales History tab, you would see the sale of the services plus the copayment, along with the $200 allocated in the third party column total. So here we see we're waiting on $200 from the insurer, hence the triangle denotation for the open invoice. You can now highlight the sale right-click on it and choose HICFA 1500. If you save the ICD-9 codes under the Patient's Audiology tab, these will pull in automatically. Otherwise, enter the codes into this prompt now and click OK. The HICFA form will generate with all the correct information from the sale and from the patient's file. If you need to adjust anything on the form, you can use the Show Form Data button at the bottom of the screen. A table will appear on the right side of the screen. Each field name within the table has a corresponding box reference number on the form. I'll make any adjustments within the table and click update at the bottom and these adjustments will appear automatically on the claim form. Unselect the show form data button at the bottom of the screen to remove the table. You can now archive the form under the patient document tab. You can use the printer icon in the top left hand corner to print this and send it in to the insurer, or if you're utilizing the red background forms required by some insurers, you can just use the print without background option at the bottom of the screen to print this information out onto that form. If you're integrated with Office Ally, the Clearinghouse Blueprint uses, you can submit the form electronically from this screen. Click Submit Electronically and you will receive a prompt letting you know that your submission is complete. You can now manage this claim in your Office Ally account. In order to have the option to submit electronically, this will require you to register with Office Ally and have a Blueprint technician perform the Office Ally integration. Please contact us for more information. When done with the form, you can close out. And then upon receiving payment from the third party, you can go to your accounting, enter third party payment screen. From this screen, we can do any third party payments or perform third party write-offs. Simply find the insurer from your drop-down list and you'll see any open invoices or outstanding claims for that particular third party. You can find an invoice and highlight it and then right-click on it to perform a write-off. Within the credit amount field, enter the dollar amount of the write-offs for each service. Clicking out of the field or clicking enter on your keyboard saves the changes. The total amount of the write-offs will be $32, and I can click Create at the bottom of the screen. The credit gets created. I can now enter my payment information. 
I'll put in the amount of the payment, choose the payment method. You could also utilize a memo field to track uh, authorization or check number. And then check off the box for the payments that will be made. And ensure that the payment amount matches the amount that you'll be applying. Clicking out of the field or clicking enter on the keyboard, again, saves those changes. Then simply click Save. Because I did not specify the location, I'll choose that from my pop-up box now and click OK. You'll see the amount open on the total sale now is $68. You can perform your insurer payments or your insurer write-offs first. There's no required order. If I need to allocate the remaining amount of the sale back to the patient, I can close out of my Enter Payment screen. I hover over the third-party total amount now. I'll see that remaining balance is $68. If I need to allocate it back to the patient, I can highlight the sale and regenerate it to make the change. You now have an Edit Coverage box. If you choose Edit Coverage, you'll see the amount of payments and write-offs performed by each insurer. You can now use this to adjust the covered amount. So $100 in payments and $32 in write-offs brings my total allocated amount to $132. You'll see now that the amount due remains $68 and the patient payable is now a total of $88, 20 of which has already been paid for a copay. So if I click Apply, the amounts allocated are adjusted and I can now regenerate the invoice to save the changes. Your invoices will populate again, and now the remaining $68 is allocated back to the patient. By hovering over the sale amount, I'll see the $68 is now in the debit column, indicating patient responsibility. Anytime I take a patient payment, I can do that right from the sales history screen. Highlight the sale, right click, and choose Receive Payments. If the client paid us the remaining amount with a check, I'll track the check number, and then I'll click Save. A sales receipt will always populate whenever taking payment. We'll now see that the triangle alert symbols disappear, indicating that the sale has been closed. If we highlight the sale, right-click and choose Transaction History, we would be able to see any payments and any write-offs performed on the sale. We hope you found this Blueprint OMS tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please give us a call.